Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have some project shares for Adornit. I have projects that I made with the July uh, release for their Diana Markham Recipe Stamp Club. And I did show all of the stamps that I received in my haul uh, last Friday. But uh, I did take the time to make some projects with them, so I wanted to show you them again and then show you the projects that I made. This is a recipe book that I've been creating if you've been following uh, my channel. This is actually the second volume of my Diana Markham recipe stamp books. So this one started this year in April because last year started in April, so I wanted to keep them consistent. So if you recall, this was my April page, this was May, and this was June. So we have July's this time. And the main stamp of the month is this one, which is Tea Party Cakes. And it's a little bit off center because I did use it and then you know tried to put it back on, but it's not perfect. So anyway, I used this stamp and then I used some of the others as well in some of the projects. Um, this, I believe, is the add-on set, and I used this stamp from there, the T for Two. I actually didn't, I masked off the part that says T for Two, and I just used the teacups. And then separate purchases are this one here, and, oops, sorry. I used You're My Cup of Tea, and I didn't put that in the correct spot, but I used that one and I think I used, yeah, I used this teacup as well. So you can use these different sayings inside the teacup or inside the tea bag as well. And then it also came, well, my design team package came with this die too, or I keep saying die, stamp set from the, uh, from the separate stamp drop, but it's all in the same tea floral theme. Um, I didn't use anything from this one for these projects, but I wanted to show them to you anyway. And then there's this one too, which has the invitation and a few more cute designs. I used this one. A woman is like a tea bag. You can't tell how strong she is until you put her in hot water, which is an Eleanor Roosevelt quote. So let me show you what I made. I made three different things, and then we'll go ahead and add it to my recipe book. If you're not familiar, this is a simple story snap book. And it's, it's adjustable. You can buy um, more inserts to put in here, different sizes, you know, different dividers. I usually get just the plain six by eight size. And I make my pages six by eight to fit in there. But let me show you the other things I made first. I made a tag and this is how it came out. That's with that separate teacup stamp. And then after I stamped that, I stamped You're My Cup of Tea inside. And I used Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I usually use that for my stamping because I, I typically color things with alcohol markers. So that's um, a great ink to use for alcohol markers. So that's what I did. And I also, if you could see the little hearts here, I added a heart pattern myself. And that heart came from, I forget which stamp set it came from. It's one of these. <laughs> Let's find it. Okay. Oh, I used it from this set, which is where the tea bag one is. And it's just a little heart stamp that has shading lines on it. And I just thought it was so cute. I put it on a acrylic stamp block. I masked off the sides of the teacup with some, you know, some mint tape and then dipped it into some, I think I used mm, probably vintage photo distress oxide ink. And I just kept twisting the stamp as I was going along. And then once I was done with that, I colored those in pink and made just my own little pattern onto the teacup. And then I used some Lawn Fawn clear glaze on the tea itself just to make it look a little liquidy and then also on the little bubbles rising up from the tea too. And this this die here is from Timu actually. It's, it's a nesting set and I like it because it's got the little cross stitching on it and then it has the notches too. So I had this in a circle and a uh, square or rectangle set. I just like, you know, nesting sets. And you can make tags out of them too. You just have to punch a hole and you're done. So I punched a hole in my crocodile and also added an eyelet just to finish it off. And then I strung some cream uh, thread or twine through it that has some gold threading wrapped around it as well, just to kind of finish it off. And I used tea dye distress oxide to um, color the edge of the tag, this one here. 
I just used a brush and just kind of swirled it on. This is just normal white paper um, in the background, but when you put the tea dye on, it makes it, it, you know, it ages it a little bit. And I colored in the rest of everything with alcohol markers. So I just thought that was such a cute little simple tag, you know, and the back is just plain white. And yeah, that was my first project. I hope you like it. And then I decided to make a little card with that tea bag with the quote, the one that I like so much, a woman is like a tea bag. So that's what I did. I stamped it onto the same white paper and then edged it with tea dye distress oxide and fussy cut it just around the, the string. It's kind of hard to, you know, cut that out specifically. So I just kind of did a loose, a loose cut around that and then cut close to the edges of the tea bag there. Um, again, I use some some uh, clear glaze to accentuate the heart there. And then I use some Nouveau, um, this aqua, what is this called? Aqua shimmer, I think. Yeah, aqua shimmer in the glitter gloss um, color, just to add some sparkle around the edges of the tea bag. And then also on the edges of the paper here that I used. Isn't that paper pretty? I just love it. It's from the Arala Miha shop on Etsy. It's a, di a digital download and I use that a lot a lot for like shabby chic kind of projects. So I wanted to use it for the uh, the projects. I used it in this one and then my recipe page as well, just because it just looks very, uh, you know, like English tea to me. So that's why I wanted to use that. And then this is a die I had from Rosie Studio, the little heart doily, and I used some pink gingham paper also from um, Etsy, but that's from a different company. And then I tied a uh, little pig button with some white thick thread and glued it onto the heart as well just to add a little texture a little something different and then the card base is made with some pink paper pink paper that has little white hearts on it also from Etsy and this is a four by four card just a small card and I thought it'd be a nice enclosure for a gift or just a little like I'm thinking of you know I didn't do anything on the inside yet but I did want to show you the outside I just love it I think it's so pretty um, let me measure oh, sorry let me measure the, the tea bag itself in case you're interested. The tea bag is about two and a half inches top to bottom and then side to side it's about one and a half just to give you an idea of how big that is. So that's my second project and then the third one will be the recipe page. So this one, again, I use those same papers that I downloaded from Etsy. I do love the add-on papers for the July release, but I really, like I said, I wanted to use the Rala Miha shop papers for the, for the tea because I just associate that with English, like countryside, and to me, that's perfect for a tea party. So I love this color scheme. It's kind of like tan and pink and cream, and I think it goes really nicely with the theme of the tea party cakes. So I stamped the main recipe stamp onto some of that pattern paper and then I colored it with alcohol markers just a little bit just edged it and you know a little bit on the insides tans and pinks and then I fussy cut it and I fussy cut around the steam just you know kind of generally like I did with the with the string on the on the um, tea bag but then I cut you know close to the other lines and um, I did cut out the center of the the handle too and then the stamp, it is actually one big stamp, this part here that has a teapot and then the like uh, tablecloth on the side, on the bottom. But if you wanna make that a different color or a different pattern, you could easily, you know, cut this apart and paper piece it with something that you stamped on a different paper. And that's what I did. For this tablecloth here, I stamped on just plain white paper. I didn't want it to be the same floral as the teapot. So um, yeah, so that's what I did, white paper, and then colored it a little bit with some alcohol markers. Again, use that clear glaze to raise it up a little bit. Use that glitter aqua shimmer marker on the edges of the teapot and the, and the tablecloth too. And then, um, yeah, I die cut the outer portion. First I taped together the, um, the gingham paper and then this tan heart paper and then once that was, I didn't tape it together, I glued it together. And then once that was together, I ran them through um, my die cutting machine with this big rectangle die that I have. And then I added this little accent. This is the one that I was saying I did not include the saying. 
That's this one that's T for two. So when I had this in my stamp positioner, I masked off the T for two just with some tape. And then when I was ready, and that's when I loaded the ink onto everything else. When I was ready to stamp, I took the tape off so there was no tape or ink on that part so it didn't you know, transfer over to the paper. I just didn't think it needed more text here since I wanted to focus on the text on the recipe. So then I fussy cut that, made my own little pattern with, some, with an alcohol marker to make polka dots, again with the clear glaze. And then um, I matted that onto some uh, white embossed paper. You can get this at Joann's. It's got little raised dots on it. I don't know if you can see it here, but they are there. And once I did that, I wanted to add a little bit of an extra accent to the side. So I took out my coordinating diamond dots. There's pink and then also tan. And I just kind of like, I put three in each corner and then three in the centers on the top and the bottom and just alternated the colors a little bit depending on where they were on the page. So like I said, this is a six by eight page and I use some almond cream paper for the base of it. And that is basil paper. I use that all the time for, you know, gingerbread and cookies. And yeah, I just thought it went really nicely with the colors here. So let's go ahead and add this to my recipe book and we'll be done. So I'm really enjoying creating these recipes every month. I try to make them a little bit different, you know, different themes all the time, but they all tie together, of course, with Diana's beautiful artwork and the recipes. So like I, I think I told you guys, I made this recipe, the no peak beef. It was really, really good. And I am gluten-free, so I used gluten-free cream of mushroom soup and uh, brown gravy mix as well. And you can buy those. I got both of those at Walmart. They have a little gluten-free section. So, um, and it was delicious. They were, it was really nice and, um, you know, thick enough. And my husband liked it and he's not gluten-free. So it worked out well. So anyway, let's go on to July and we'll put that in here. And Diana had said that's one of her husband's favorite recipes too. So I knew it would be good. So there, that's this month's page. I hope you like it. I love how pretty and delicate it came out and I might have to try and make this too. She says that you can use any flavor cake mix. Lemon is also lovely. The recipe calls for strawberries. So it looks easy enough too. So thank you so much for joining me. I will link the stamps, uh, the recipe club in my description box down below. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to help if I can. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Take care everyone. Bye.